I know what y'all thinking. I know. Trust me. I know the paint looks terrible, y'all. You know what? I think because it's a new drywall and I'm not sure, I have to add like three to four coats of paint, y'all. Because look, as y'all can see, this is my first coat on this wall. It looks absolutely shitty. Here's going my second coat on this wall. And this is from what I painted two days ago. Although you still see a little bit of streaks in it, this second coat still look better than this first coat, y'all. Definitely this right here. So what I did was, I was like, you know what, fuck it. I need to get this done. I just painted, you know, one coat over this wall, one coat over this wall, and one coat over this wall. Then later on today, I'm going to run over the second coat. And then I do a third coat. And y'all, cross fingers, the third coat looks good, y'all. But overall, I'm glad I got the room painted. Like I said, I was going to have it painted by today. Looks terrible. I know, I know. I'm trying not to even think about it for real. But hey, the job got to get done somehow, you dig. But let's roll. Fancy. Subway. Eat fresh. About to go in here and see they got that $2.99 meal. I heard it's like you get a six inch sub for like $2.99. And y'all know I'm trying to eat cheap and I'm trying to eat healthy at the same time. You dig? So you about to see is that deal true? About to find out now actually. Oh, quick question. Is uh, y'all have like a sub for $2.99? Oh, y'all do? Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay. So it is true, y'all. It is. It is. Boom. 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 See, this subway guys together. They look real organized. They got everything all set out, looking all fancy. Look, look, the glass is clean. You dig? You dig? We got to eat good, though, y'all. Then I'm about to go to uh, Gypsy Bean, go edit today's vlog, and um, also drink some coffee, you know? Just one cup. So, it is a beautiful day out here, y'all. I just want to show my face for real before I go ahead and eat this good old sub. So kind of find out Subway does have $2.99 six inch subs, y'all. It's like a little chicken patty. I'm about to tear this shit up and then we about to um, head out to the west side. Actually, I'm about to show you the sub inside the car. I love the sun, y'all. I love it. All right, y'all, I'm going to show you the six inch sub real quick. I decided to pick out my little chin hair today. I've been noticing my videos, my chin hair has been looking terrible, man. Although I don't got any, I need to keep it clean looking, you dig? All right, let's see. So, y'all not, I'm not really a veggie person, but today I got the veggies on it. Oh, I got put, oh, there we go, put up a little more for y'all. So here it go right here. Let's go to $3 sub. Can you see it? It's like a chicken patty right there. If y'all can't see it, I'm sorry. I'm about to eat it. $3 at Subway, check it out. I just want to let y'all know because I'm happy because of this. I'm about to eat good. Give me back to roll. Yeah, that girl she got on my clone. I told that little girl that she got it. She's too bad. Wow. Are you serious? I swear my money is serious. Okay, all my checks, I just be clearing it. She saw my dick, then she get delirious. Okay, jump on the jet so I'm clearing. Okay, pop, but I'm not talking new. Okay, smoke that boy just like a cigarette. If that boy try to make a fuss move. What up, though? We come alive from West 65th in Detroit once again. You know, when I gotta check out this place, Donuts and Beer, and I gotta check out this place over here, Pinball Pete's. I heard they got like a lot of pinball games in there. You know, and I love fucking playing pinball. But I'm about to go here in Gypsy Bean, about to go edit. But I did drive past to see a ton of motherfucking people in here, man. Oh, this looks pretty cool. So hopefully it's not too crowded and I can find a seat. If I can't, we're going somewhere else. Matter of fact, we're about to see together. Hold on, y'all. Desserts as always. Oh, cool, they got seats. I should be good. Boom, new location. You know, y'all, I wasn't even thinking about coming to Raising Cane's. This is a weird reason why I came here. So Raising Cane's got robbed yesterday. Well almost got robbed yesterday not this one but the other one but you know i don't know that didn't phase me i still want this shit i'm about to get it y'all so we about to come in here and get some good old raisin canes three piece meal of course with the extra piece of toast and an extra sauce i'm gonna show the food man all right y'all so we got the beautiful three piece meal oh is that four pieces oh they put an extra piece in there for me i love them so much then we got the two pieces of bread, some fries, and two sauces, y'all. And the sweet tea, of course. So I'm about to eat this, chill on out, and you know, keep it rolling. You did. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's been super difficult trying to plan out my day. You know, usually I just wake up, go downstairs in the basement, and go Uber and do whatever. 
But now I'm trying to like have like a system so my life can be very organized. Cause ever since last weekend, when I got burnt out during Uber and everything, I was like, uh-uh, enough is enough. So each and every day is going to be a little different. Sorry, the vlogs may be kind of woozy every now and then. Well, to me, they look woozy. To y'all, they may look normal. But I'm trying to, you know, get my life on a perfectly balanced schedule, y'all. Because unfortunately today, I mean, obviously I painted the basement, but it's still not done. It's still not done. And as I was painting it and the paint was coming out terrible, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I had that little, that quitter mindset for me. I'm like, fuck this. I don't want to do this shit. I don't care. But y'all know me, man. I'm a warrior at the end of the day. So I kept on going, you know what I mean? So tomorrow I'm put down like two more coats and hopefully that does something. Hopefully I just need one more coat, y'all. Because when I'm done with that basement, y'all, that's going to free up so much of my life. It's going to be crazy because I spend an average of four hours in that basement every single day or every other day. And imagine if I had that four hours to myself. Therefore, I can go Uber. I can work with some videos. I can do something else. So it feels like right now in my life, it's like this wall right here that's kind of preventing me to getting over it. And the only way to get over that wall is to complete this job in front of this wall. And that is that basement. As y'all can see, I'm like 75% done. So if I knock this shit out in the next two, three days, it's gonna be a huge relief, y'all. I'm gonna be real. It's gonna be a massive relief because that four hours means a lot, y'all. That could either be an extra two hours of sleep, extra two hours of creativity, or I can Uber longer, because y'all know my trip is coming up soon. Y'all know the date, but y'all know it's coming up soon, and I just need much money as possible. I'm trying to save much money as possible right now. So I ain't gonna lie to y'all right now. I am kind of stressed out a little tiny bit, but it's not like a, mm -mm -mm. it's like more of like a, okay, come on, let's pick up the pace. You know what I mean? Because we're only in February still, so I'm trying to stay calm. But also trying to, you know, rack up my money and rack up everything I need to do, you dig? So, just ride the wave with me, y'all. It's going to end off all good, you dig? But what's good, my family? Coming back live at the crib. Raising canes was good as fuck. Listen, that shit puts me on my ass every time I eat it. But I love it. I love Raising canes, y'all. But I'm just here to give y'all... Oh, no, speaking of that stuff. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, shit. It's right now. But I'm just here to give y'all the fun facts of the day. Let's get to it, my family. February 19th, 2020. Thought of the day. Creative minds are like parachutes. They work only when they are open. Oh my God. I know if y'all watching this, y'all gotta be creative. Y'all have to be creative because I feel like I'm 100% creative. Everything I wanna do in my life is creative. And you know what, y'all? It can be creative is the most greatest thing ever, but it can be the most difficult thing ever, y'all. Actually, I made a vlog about this way back, like vlogs, I don't know, 46 or something. And it was titled, How to Get Over a Creative Block. You know what I mean? I feel like us as being creatives, we love being creative. We love when that juice is flowing. But when it's not flowing, y'all, it feels like everything just shuts down. Like I told y'all, like that, like that brick wall. Like it feels like you see the vision but you can't fully get to the vision. And that's why I call it creative block, you know what I mean? But how to get over that, honestly, is to just be creative. Just do something different, just do something. I feel like in order to get over creative block, like my friend B. Michelle said, you know, go outside, go, to, go somewhere different. Because in order for us to even be creative, we have to gain experience from life or different situations, you know what I mean? Such as me talking to her about being creative, help me become more creative, y'all. So if anybody's out there creative, Keep on being creative. Even if you're going through creative block right now or you're not going through creative block, anywhere it goes, continue to be creative because creativity makes you feel great. It's like therapy in a way for me. Like I love sending out editing. Or I love thinking of new um, ways I can promote myself. It's the greatest thing ever. And yeah, creativity is dope. Definitely when it's flowing, man. But when it's not flowing, it's the most frustrating shit ever, y'all. So keep it going. Let's see what's next. Man, this microphone will keep moving up, y'all. I'm gonna fix it. I ain't gonna edit this, but y'all get it. All right. Next. Let's see what's next. Joke of the day. Here it goes. Why can't a pony sing? Why is that? It's always a little horse. Uh -huh, uh -huh, you get it? Little horse, pony, little horse, uh -huh, voice, uh -huh, can't sing. <laughs> Random fact of the day. If you have about 17,000 touch receptors in each of your hands. Oh, sorry. I fucked up, y'all. Random fact of the day. You have about 17,000 touch receptors in each of your hands. Yeah, our hands are very sensitive, y'all. Like, um, I don't know. 
I, I, I see people play this game like they blindfold themselves and they touch these different things and it's like, ooh, I personally want to do that. But yeah, our hands is very sensitive. I think we all know that. There are hands in my toes too. Like I'm really ticklish, y'all. Like when I was a little kid, my mom would tickle me on my feet and I, ah! and I don't know, I'm just a super ticklish person. So yeah, I believe we have like a lot of receptors. You dig? Um, journal entry idea. When sharing a project with, cl stutter, sorry. When sharing a project with the class, will you rather present first or last? The me now will present first, but back in the day, I will always like to go last because I would like to go last because everybody's already tired. Everybody's already drained. The expectations are already set at a certain level. So let me go ahead and get my project out the way. Hopefully the teacher just be like, hey, thank God he's the last motherfucker to go up there because I used to always like going last in class because like I told y'all, I lacked um, confidence issues growing up. So therefore, I don't want to be the first one because I don't want everybody looking at me like, oh, that was a shitty project, you know what I mean? So I'd rather go last where everybody's out the way and the teacher's tired and everybody's not paying attention to the presentation anymore, so I get that easy A. But when I got to college, um, I started going um, first. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't start going first immediately. I started going like right in the middle. But towards the end of my college journey, I started going first. I look at it as, hey, let's get this shit out the way. Let's go ahead. You know, lay out a good presentation, get the little butterflies out the way and get this A, you know what I mean? But that all falls into the confidence and stuff. I mean, some people would just like to go last. For me now, I like to get shit out the way now, man, because it feels like, like I tell y'all earlier, you got all this shit right in front of you, you haven't done yet. It feels like it's a block, you know what I mean? So it's best to get everything out the way so you can move on to the next task, you dig? So yes, I would definitely go first now. A few years ago, I would go last. But now, the confident J gains will go first, you dig? But while it's being said, my family, I'm going to see y'all later. The basement should be looking great. We're going to see. Cross fingers. <laughs> Peace and love, y'all. I've spoken, got the flavor.